What's your name? Dable. Dable. Dable Jones. Hold on, hold on. What you on? You, you said what? You said what? Oh, I didn't see him. You didn't see him no, at all? no, because I, when I. Yeah. You want to see that for us? So you're, you're being charged with armed robbery. So we're taking you and your friend downstairs to the jail, okay? Like, fuck a judge, you never wanted to give me a chance. Don't want to see me greet the people, see me shaking hands. Don't want your kids watching my shit on MTV jams. So if I honor any honor, no. Huh? I got that gas. Hell yeah. You want smoke? Damn. I'm trying to get this shit off. Where you from? Ah oh, yeah. Hey, you know where I can find some weed and shit? Yeah. You said what? What's your name? Abel. Abel. Dave Jones? Hold on, hold on. What, what you on? You, you said what? You said what? Yo, what's up, my boy? What you on? What you on? What you on? What's in your pockets, fuck? What's in my pocket? What's in your bag? Huh? What's in your bag? Why you worrying about it? Bro? Check it out. Why you walking up on me? Check bro? it out. Why you walking? Yeah, bro. What's in, what you on, bro? What you on for? Why you walking up? Oh, Frank, 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 look, 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 look. It's a prank game. Look, 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 What's to you? Huh? Yeah. What you want? Why you doing all that game? What, what should I do? I'm trying to buy some gas, but I ain't from here. That's not bad, though. You trying to find out? What you trying to do? Huh? Yeah. What you want, fuck? What you want? I take your hand out of that bag. Why, fuck? I can't have my hand in my bag, fuck. Hell no, not around me, fuck. I'm just trying to buy some gas, fuck. Hell, man, man, hell no, too around there. Huh? Hell no. What you, you trying to find out what's in here again? You ain't like that. What? <laughs> you ain't like that. Right. <laughs> look, look, gang, look. It's a prank, look. <laughs> we good? Right. It's a prank, for no. <laughs> All right, man. I know a lot of people asking, Key, what happened? How did you go to jail? A lot of y'all asking. A lot of y'all might have an idea what happened. I'm going to tell the real truth of what happened because a lot of y'all making false accusations on me and stuff. So let me clear that up real quick. And I know my supporters out there, y'all don't know what happened. Like some of y'all really don't know what happened. So I'm gonna explain y'all. Now y'all seen that clip right there? Y'all seen that dude running? Let me let me run it back to y'all. I'm, I'm gonna run it back to the beginning. All right, so look, y'all know me. I woke up, I felt motivated. I'm like, I wanna do a prank today. I was like, I'm gonna do a hand in the bag. We going up this street called Western. I see my first victim. I'm like, some, let me get him. Then I'm like, nah, we already rode past him. Then I'm like, nah, let me just get him. Cause he is waiting on the bus. I'm like, yeah. So I spent back around. Go to the Walgreens parking lot. Cause the uh, he waiting on the bus. The bus stop is at the Walgreens parking lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right there. So I park the car, I get out, go up to him. Y'all seen that clip right there. You want smoke? Damn, I'm trying to get this shit off. As I did that, 
he ran so fast, like y'all seen the clip, he ran so fast, like. Like he ran for no reason, I couldn't even do the prank yet, like he just ran. And I ain't gonna lie, I chased him. Y'all see, I chased him. As I chased him, he ran all the way to the gas station, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I could have been said it was a prank, but like I wanted to keep like it going so I can have more like, you feel me? Like so I can, you know, make the clip more longer. So I kept it going. But he ran so fast, like he ran to the gas station. I couldn't even go over there and say, oh, it's, it's a prank, it's a prank. So he he like, he just got away. Then I went looking for him. I spent a few blocks looking for him. I still couldn't find him. I'm like, bro, where is this dude at? So I'm like, all right, forget it. He probably know what's going on. Mind you, he looked dead in the camera while I'm doing a prank. like. While I'm reaching in the bag, he's looking dead in the camera. Like he's seen the camera and bro even seen him looking at the camera. So I'm like, oh yeah, he probably knows the prank. So I was like, okay, no worries. Like as I'm driving, he probably already know who I was. I'm like, oh yeah. Or like he probably was talking to somebody and they probably said like, oh yeah, he was just pranking you. So I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe I don't need to look for him. He he all right. So I'm not thinking in my mind. Like I'm, I'm thinking like, oh yeah, he, he can know what's going on. But we, I get back in the car. I go over to the east. I found a couple more victims. I did like two more pranks on some other people. Cool. After that happened, after I did the prank on the first dude, an hour later, I get a call. My mom said, the police want to talk to you. Um, why the police want to talk to me? What you mean? Like, what did I do? So I'm overthinking. I'm trying to think, um, what did I do? Like, what did I do illegal? Let me, let me think, like, what did I do? Did I do some trouble that I forgot I did? You feel me? Like, I'm just thinking like, cause you, like, why would the police want to talk to me? So I'm just thinking like, where, what do they want? So I get to thinking. I called her back. Um, hold on. I think they called me because I did do a prank earlier on somebody. But look though, y'all. I wouldn't think the dude would call the police. He had a face tap right here, a teardrop face tap. So I'm like, nah, he ain't called the police. Then I got thinking again. He did seem scared because he ran. So I'm like, it's definitely possible he could have called the police. So I'm like, son. Yeah, that's probably it. They probably just want to talk to me, make sure I ain't had no gun, you feel me? Make sure, you know, I really wasn't trying to do what I did, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I ain't tripping, I'll talk to them. So I stopped what I was doing. As soon as we get on Western, police get behind me. Oh, damn. Yep. State police get behind me. I get in the right lane, he get in the right lane. I'm like, oh man, yeah, he running my plates. So I, I'm going past the old Audis. I look to the left in the old Audis parking lot. It's two shares. Um, damn, what they got? I'm, I'm like, it's hot as hell. So I turn on Cattell. I flick, I uh, turn my turning signal on. As I turn on Cattell, they flick their lights. Um, ah, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. They're going to stop me before, you feel me? Because my mom said they want to meet me. Like, I told, I told my mom to tell them, like, yeah, I'm going to be on the way. Stay right there. So I'm like, oh yeah, they just gonna be already there. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I hit the um, block where my mom stay, I'm like, oh yeah, they gonna already be right there. You feel me? And I'm just gonna get out, talk to them, you feel me? But they pulled me over. In my head, I'm thinking like, oh yeah, this probably some new stuff. Like, you feel me? Like, they probably pulling me over on some traffic stuff. Whole time, they pulled me over there. You feel me? So the lady, put your hands out the window. Put my hands out the window. She, open the door with your hand out the window. I open it up. She get out and walk backwards. I look, she backwards. Put your hands in the air and walk backwards. I walk backwards, I'm walking. They uh, put my hands behind my back, detain me. I get in the car. They got bro, they did the same thing to bro. They searched my car, didn't find nothing. They took all my YouTube equipment, all my police gear. Like when I did the fake undercover cop, they took uh, the fake money with the clear book bag. They took uh, walkie talkies. They took my camera, all types of stuff. I'm just not getting this back. So 10 minutes later, came, they searched the car. They came back in the car. I mean, they came back to me. He, Mr. Wallace, he looked back at me. Mr. Wallace, you're under arrest for armed robbery. Um, what? Armed robbery? What the? Like, come on, bro. Like, bro, what? I'm thinking to myself, How, bro, what? Like, I'm, I'm real, like, confused, like, armed robbery. So they take us in, went to the interrogation room. They interviewed us. He talked to bro first, then he came back to me. I told my story and then he said, oh yeah, y'all seem like some good kids. Y'all stories both match up, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, man, when you're doing a prank on somebody and they call the police, then what? So you were trying to scare them, you know, with a joke about a hand or a gun in a bag. That's how he took it. So your prank worked, but it went too far. 
because they felt like you had a gun in there and you were robbing them. That's why we got called. That's why those officers were there to deal with you. Does that make sense? That's why you're sitting here now and there's a chance you could be charged with armed robbery, right? So yeah, I'm like, bro, we didn't have no gun. He like, the dude said you had a black device or a gun. He said he seen something black. And he was like, some, hey, uh, if we can go through your camera, uh, this might change everything. Like, this gonna make our decision. So I'm like, some, okay. Well, I'm gonna make a call. Um, I don't know what you're gonna be charged with, but right now it looks like armed robbery. But I'm gonna make a call and see where we're at and what's going on. I signed a little consent paper so he can go to the uh, camera. I'm like, okay, you gonna see in the clip, I didn't have none. And yeah, we just gonna go back home, you feel me? We ain't gonna have to go to jail. So he went out the room. I guess he looked in the camera. Probably like, I'll say, three minutes later, he came back, he, well, yep, you're on arrest, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, what? He's like, yep, because you, you can't act like you're finna rob somebody, then, I don't know, bro. It, it was all weird. <sighs> they put us in the system, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm just like, bro. I ain't gonna lie y'all on some real stuff. I thought it was over with cause like that had me thinking like bro they really against us. Like they really gonna accuse us of doing something we didn't do. So they processed us. When we first got in the cell, it was this um, one dude. He went straight on the floor. I'm like, bro, what the he, like he went straight on the floor, bro. Like he went straight on the floor when we went to sleep. Like it's still mind you, it's like 4 p.m. So I'm like, bro, it's still early. Like, like it's like he already knew what was going on. Like he been there, done that, he know what's going on, like. Sleeping on the floor, I'm like, bro, ugh, me and bro laughing, we, he nasty. Tell me why eight hours later, we did the same thing, gang. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when you in jail, like, bro, them, them uh, seats, bro, them mugs uh, hard, bro. Like, they metal steel seats, so them, it's hard, bro, your butt gonna hurt. You either sleeping on the steel, um, on, the, on the steel seats, or you gonna get your flip flop, you feel me? Put your hood on and lay on the floor and use this as a pillow. And that's what I definitely did, I ain't gonna lie. But you gotta have a hood, you feel me? If you don't got no hood, your hair, your head just gonna be dirty in your head, you feel me? You gonna have dust, all types of stuff. Cause it's all ants, all types of stuff in there, dirt, you feel me? Probably piss on the floor, all types of stuff. When they kept moving me around the cell and stuff, like the holding cells, cause it's two holding cells, they kept moving us. I was straight in there though, a lot of people, like a couple people knew me in there, like five people, they, super key, what you doing in here? I tell them what I'm doing, they, oh, you going home, you going home. Other people, you feel me? I'm fake sleep. Another dude, it don't look like he watched YouTube. He talking about some. Oh, I, I knew that was that dude uh, that do YouTube, that do the uh, the money pranks. I knew that was him. I'm like, bro, how do you even know me? It look like he watched YouTube. But yeah, you can't judge the books by its cover. But I ain't gonna lie, I was getting love in jail though. Like they knew who I was. That jail stuff, not it, man. Like you seeing the police walk past, you hoping they gonna give you updates and stuff. They not giving you no updates, like. That, bro, that, it took forever, bro. They call your name, you thinking, you feel me? Nope. It's not, you know I'm gonna get out, gang. So on my last day, this is how I got out. They called me for court. I had court, like on that uh, Sunday, to see if I can get out on pretrial. I was talking to the, uh, the public defender. The public defender told me like, yeah, I'm reading your charge, and it's saying you had a, a weapon, but we clearly seen the video. This is ridiculous, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna try to drop it. So they dropped it, the aggravated assault. Yeah, the um, judge said I can get out on pre-trial, woo, woo I'll just have another court appearance. This is what the dude said in the paperwork. This is the paperwork, bro. Bro said, in that he committed assault and violation of 720 Illinois class, used a device manufactured and designed to be substitutional, similar in appearance to a firearm, and that he knowingly and without authority displayed the device to while at 221 Northwestern Avenue, Peoria County, Illinois, thereby placing and responsible apprehension of receiving a battery. So yeah, y'all heard that right. Basically, bro basically said I had a device that worked and looked like a gun and I flashed it on him, which is incorrect. I kept my hand in the bag the whole time. Y'all seen that clip, bro. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong, bro. Like, this, it, bro, it's bull. It, it, it's all bull. It's a, a hassle for no reason. Like. Bro, you didn't even have to say nothing to them, bro. Why did you even call the police? You know you wasn't gonna get robbed. If I wanted to rob you, I would've just robbed you, gang. I would've just robbed you. I would've been showed you the gun, gang. And even if I was for real, even though I wasn't, though, but even if I was for real doing that, you got away, gang. At the end of the day, you got away. Why was you talking to the police? You got away. Like, I didn't take nothing from you. Even if I was for real, I didn't take nothing from you. So why are you calling the police? But I understand, y'all. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong, though, y'all. 
I'm, I'm probably am wrong. I'll take full accountability for doing that prank. That is a dangerous prank. And I am probably wrong. I probably did. I probably this probably is a wake up call, y'all. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. This probably, this probably is a wake up call. Let me mature up and take responsibility. This probably is a wake up call for doing that prank. You know. But yeah, though, that's what happened, man. That's the reason why Super Q was locked up, man. All over some BS. All because a nigga snitched on me. But yeah, man. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We out.